Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys and your grandmothers are aware, Rockstar Games are going to be releasing the casino into GTA 5 online very, very soon. Now, of course, as I'm sure all of you guys know, when the casino drops, you guys will need a ton of money for this DLC. And if you guys aren't aware, right now, Rockstar Games are currently offering double money and double RP on all of the client jobs. Now, if you guys go ahead and play the right client job in the right way, you guys can earn a ton of money in no time. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys very quickly how you can do so. As always, if you guys do enjoy the video and you would like to see me cover more epic money and RP guides in the future, all I ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this first client job is called Robbery in Progress and can earn you guys a very nice $62,000 and can be done in 5 minutes. As soon as you guys launch this brand new job, what you guys will have to do is scour through a bunch of different CCTV cameras. Now, all of these cameras will be located on different banks around the map that you guys have most likely visited before. Now, you guys will notice one of the banks will be getting robbed. As soon as you guys notice what bank is getting robbed, you have to make your way over to the bank. Simply make your way inside of the Fleecer bank, take out the um, robbers, collect the goods, and simply go ahead and deliver them to a contact. This mission is very straightforward and very easy, like I said. If you guys would like to play it really safe, maybe go ahead and pull out a snacks and keep on refueling on snacks every time you get shot or put a body armor on. But this mission is very straightforward and very easy. Now it is worth mentioning, all of these client jobs are done in public free roam sessions. So other players can see you carrying the goods and they can come over and kill you to get a cash reward. So do keep that in the back of your mind. Now also it is worth mentioning, you guys won't be able to quickly repeat these jobs as many times as you like. They're there will be a cooldown period in between them so there will be a half an hour cooldown period for the job that you just played and there will be another two minute cooldown period before you can launch any other job Okay, so as you guys just heard, this mission is a pretty straightforward and classic GTA 5 online mission. All you guys have to do is locate the four vehicles that are driving around the map. Then once you guys get close to them, pull up your SecuroServe app and it should scan the vehicle. After about 15 to 20 seconds, you should get a result whether it's the right vehicle or not. If it's not, as you guys can see, you simply move on to the next one. Then once you guys actually locate the vehicle that is carrying the goods, you do want to make sure that you guys do not destroy this vehicle. It will end the mission prematurely. You guys will have to rob the vehicle. So as you guys can see, the flying vehicles might be the best for the actual scanning process. So getting an oppressor, a buzzard, or a deluxe oak, you can just fly above the target and then scan them. However, once you guys locate it, you cannot actually use any machine guns on these vehicles so if you guys are in a deluxo any of the oppressor bikes or a buzzard you'll actually have to jump off of that and then jump in a normal m piece then try and headshot the drivers just so you guys can then go ahead jump in the vehicle take the goods then deliver them to the buyer and of course just like the very first client job can be launched 100 solo and will also earn you guys a very nice sixty two thousand dollars the two jobs so far i've got to say client job number one is by far the easiest and most straightforward if you guys are looking to make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time but either way both of them so far could easily be done under 10 minutes Well, the drone will. So get over to their offices and we'll talk. 
Now moving into client job number three and as you guys probably heard this is definitely one of the more fun missions out of this entire lot. It does allow you guys to try out the brand new drone system which I've got to say is an awesome feature. I personally love using it in free roam just going around stunning people and trolling people. However this mission will get you to drive to the life invader building in the city center. Once you guys arrive there you will have to go onto your screen or your computer where you can control the drone. From here you simply have to get the drone, fly it through either one of the doors it could either be the front door or the back door and you guys will have to access two laptops that you have to hack so to do this very straightforward with no hiccups whatsoever you want to make sure that you stun this security guard right here that will, that will clear the way for you to access the first laptop simply drive your drone up to it and press right on the d-pad and you will get greeted with one of these menus right here it's a classic hacking mini game that's been in gt online since the beginning once you guys have done that you want to turn around take out this security guard through here and then you guys will find the other laptop in this room simply do the same go over to it hack it and then once you've done so from here all you have to do is go ahead and take out the target which will be now located on your gps so i do believe this is a different location every time because these are free roam events but he should be just somewhere within a two to three mile radius you don't have to use any particular vehicle or any particular weapon just simply make your way to the target take them out and that'll be the mission completed so once again could easily be done solo and will earn you guys a very nice sixty thousand dollars Okay, so moving into the fourth client job, and this is actually quite similar to the third one. We are going to be using the drone once again, and it's actually probably the most fun mission. So all you guys will have to do is make your way to the jewelry store that is actually used in the story mode. From here, you have to pull out your drone once again, take out the alarm system. From here, use your drone to take out the security guard. Once you've done that, make your way inside. I would suggest pulling up snacks or a body armor, just so you guys don't get shot. Go ahead and steal the jewelry. I would suggest using a Mark II shotgun for this mission. For any close call battles in GTA 5 Online, there isn't a gun better. However, once you guys have cleared out everyone, go ahead and pick up the jewelry, lose the cops, and simply go ahead and deliver them. And then once again, for a pretty straightforward and easy job, you guys will be earning a very nice $62,000 all of the client jobs that you guys are able to do solo there is two more jobs that you guys will need one other player in your organization or mc to launch which i'll quickly cover right now Okay, so coming in for the fifth client job, which is the very first co-op one. This one is pretty straightforward and easy, but I might confuse a lot of you guys at the start. So you guys will basically have to locate three or two trucks that are carrying antiques. Now, in order for you guys to actually locate these trucks, you have to press right on your D-pad and they will briefly appear, as you guys can see, for about five to 10 seconds. Now, you just make your way towards where the location of the trucks are showing up. And after every 20 seconds or so, it will recharge. So you can just keep pressing right on your D-pad until you get close enough to the trucks where you know exactly where they are. So as you guys can see, I did start in Blaine County. I make my way towards the city as I seen them pop up in the bottom left. And then you guys should easily be able to locate these trucks in no time. Simply go ahead, take them out, pick up the antiques and go ahead and deliver them and the greatest thing is you can actually hold more than one antique per person so in my case my crew member ended up lagging out of the game so there was only two of us yet we had three antiques to collect so this wasn't an issue i could simply go ahead collect one 
collect the other one and deliver them all at the same time which is a massive benefactor i cannot lie the amount of times i used to do special cargo work and you could only pick up one at a time it used to be so goddamn long so it is good to see rockstar games have changed that now unlike the first four client jobs which you guys can launch solo these ones that need to be done co-op will actually pay less because you guys will be dividing the final pay between how many people you have in your organization so for completing this mission with two of us i received twenty six thousand dollars and if we would have done it with three people that would have even decreased more making this mission completely pointless definitely avoid all the co-op missions unless you guys really want to go ahead and just give them a go Okay, so coming in for the sixth and final client job, and this is another co-op job. This one is extremely easy, really doesn't need no explanation whatsoever. As I'm sure you guys have seen, earlier on I did do a showcase on this brand new terabyte vehicle. One of the features it comes with is a scanner. So once you guys are driving, as you guys can see, you press right on the D-pad and you'll be able to scan players. It'll pull up all of their information, how much they have, what player rank they are. However, all you guys are simply doing is scanning this area until you pick up a phone signal which in the middle of your screen as you guys can see will start to go crazy as soon as you approach it once you guys locate the target all you have to do is simply go ahead take them out then go ahead and pick up the security case from here go ahead and deliver it and then bang for this mission i only received sixteen thousand dollars as there was three of us in the mission like i explained so we had to split the earnings between all three of us just bagging me a pathetic sixteen thousand dollars if you guys are going to do these co-op missions stick to only two people as they're extremely easy and if you're looking to do these for just purely money definitely do the solar ones nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys hopefully you guys do appreciate me fully breaking down all of these client jobs including how much they pay and the best ways to complete them if you guys have enjoyed this video all i ask is you drop a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks all for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace